Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your daily love reading for the November 1st, 2018. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in that order. My cards are flying everywhere. Okay. So I'm going to tip you on down here so you can see me shuffling. And I think we are about ready. Yep. All right. Taurus, you guys have the Five of Swords. Aries had that same card in that, um, in theirs. Uh, Capricorn, you guys have the Three of Wands in the reverse. And Virgo, you guys have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, which is also... What Sagittarius had in their reading. The bottom of the deck is the star. Clarified by the devil in reverse. And the high priestess. Wow. Um, your bottom of the deck is the six of cups in reverse. You could be leaving a relationship. Um, that, oh. Back to. Manifesting um, the star, stars are aligning in order to um, break free from this toxicity that has held you captive for so long, as well as um, finding your your higher knowledge, your spiritual guidance. Um, and this is for all of you. Um, there could have been codependency or addictions. You're finding the strength to break free from those. Um, as well as ascending to a higher level of your spirituality, um, your third eye opening, um, that and no longer hiding from your true feelings for somebody. Your, your wishes are coming true, and the universe is here to help you make sure of that. Now, with Taurus, um, you guys have the five of the swords, so you're walking away from something that uh, really hurt you. Um, like I said, you could be dealing with uh, an Aries being they had the same card in the same position. Oops. Let's get Taurus males. Taurus males. Um, yeah, Taurus is, guys know that secrets come. So um, the heaven are helping forward, break free of this codependency of this person. Taurus. So, uh... Taurus males, you guys, um, you are in it needs of some healing. You went back to the force. So you need to heal um, from somebody that you walked away from in the past or somebody that walked away from you. Um, and you are going to have healing energy coming into you. Taurus females, you have the five of cups. So you're mourning the loss of somebody that you had to walk away from or somebody that walked away from you. Um, this will get this will get better. Uh, this energy that's coming in for you will help push you forward into a healing energy as well, to where you can um, see that you still have two two cups behind you. Um, let's see here. The Queen of Pentacles kept wanting to flip for our Virgo friends here, but we will, or our Capricorn. I'm sorry. Um, I'll I'll call for it out, but. Um, you guys have a blessing that is delayed for you Capricorns. Um, it's not going to be delayed much longer. This is divine timing with the three of wands, the star, manifesting your capitals. The V is helpful. Um,
make this success. You have to leave one relationship and before you can get this gift from the universe, this new beginning for um, you. There has to be a change in, within the home before um, this Ace of Pentacles will come in the upright. But you, it is divine timing for you guys. Um, so it's time to make that move, go males. Go females. Have the page or um, in reverse. Waiting for intention to come in from an air sign um, in order for you to begin to move forward. Or in order for this blessing to come in for you. Um, it is delayed, however, too, because it wasn't, divine it wasn't the right timing up till this point. But um, the stars will be aligning and uh, and you guys will be getting your new beginning from the universe very soon within the next new moon. And um, I do see this change and it um, turning into the upright. Can I get one overall energy card for Taurus, one outcome card, please? Yeah, Taurus, it's just time for you guys to retreat, time to step away from the world and to start healing, to go in your cave and don't come out until you have been lightened by the uh, by the divine, till you um, see your value, your worth. I see you guys, as your self-confidence is low. Um, and you shouldn't be Taurus. You are an amazing sign. Um, so loving, so nurturing. Uh, it's time to nurture yourself. Capricorns, you guys are feeling trapped. You're feeling stuck. Your outcome card of the day is feeling trapped by your own thoughts right now. Um, yeah, being, being trapped in your own thoughts. It's time to take the blindfold off and see that you're the only one holding you back Capricorn. And Virgo's final outcome card for the day. The Three of Cups. There will be cause of celebration. Um, for some of you, this is a third party that needs to end so you can move forward into a um, stable, committed relationship. But for both of male and female Virgos, there is going to be reason to celebrate um, very shortly with divine timing here and the stars aligning. Follow your intuition, follow your gut, and go for it because there's going to be a lot of celebrating. Some of you could be getting engaged. Virgo males, you could be proposing to somebody um, with that four of wands there or asking them to move in or finding a home together. However, the situation fits. You guys are, um, you guys are moving forward to a higher level of a commitment. Can I get one card for our earth signs, please? One card for November 1st. One card for our earth signs. Thank you. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So some of you are currently separated from your partner. Um, some of you will be separated from your partner. But in this time of separation, please take the time to heal, to focus on yourself, to pamper yourself, to... Um, to remember your value, your worth, because that never, ever goes down. Um, you are worth loving. You are lovable. So take this time of separation to, to work on yourself. So I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful November 1st, and I will see you next time. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.